Thank you guys for coming. Good morning. My name is Lee Easton, president and founder of Identify. Hi, everyone. My name is Spencer Smith. I am our director of data infrastructure. Before we dive in, guys, I want to give a quick pulse on the industry. I think we all get some of the newsletters, uh, American Banker, Bank Director, FinTech Business Weekly. And it seems as though the examiners are diving deeper than ever, and rightfully so. Compliance is a focal point, and data seems to be the root cause. Banks and credit unions are searching for ways to better manage their data. And the last thing you want is to end up in Jason Mikula's blog post. So welcome to Identify. We are your guide for cloud data management. Identify is a platform that helps you organize your data sources, identify what's missing while staying compliant. Identify reduces the labor costs associated with managing data and staying compliant within the cloud. Now, we started as a professional service business, working at the spearhead of this industry with some very innovative customers, about 15 banks to date, those of which have powered some of the largest fintech companies in the nation, where we see an average of 14 data sources, leading to the development of some very complex systems. For some of our more traditional FIs that we work with, we still see an average of seven to eight core systems, leading to the potential of seven to eight times missing customer information. So we're taking our background in engineering and expertise to show you something today that not only helps you guys speed up the implementation process, but also validate your data at the source of raw information. For banks that are choosing to go a different route, we're seeing them spend an average of $100,000 a year per FTE. On top of that, they're spending more money with their core provider for a warehousing solution that does not always integrate with all the data sources. And then lastly, we see an average of about 1,300 hours a year spent manually parsing files, looking through those files just to reconcile customer information or transaction balances. So what if I told you guys we can do that in a fraction of the cost and maybe even a seventh of the time? Enough talking. Let's, uh, let's dive in here. So upon logging in to the Identify dashboard, you see a list of a few data sources. For the sake of today, we've loaded files into the system here. So for my nerds and my engineering friends in the room, this is a Snowflake application where we've taken our own dynamic tables and normalized the data for you. And so we've got a list of some, some connectors we've already put in with a settlement file, a CRM, digital banking application, and a few others. And on the left side, you're seeing a, a score timeline. So this is where we're looking at the completion of data. And for us, completion equals validation equals compliance. And so as we hover over this in the background, we have our data model. And we're looking across all the data sources that are active, and in this case, the files. And within those files, the fields. And within those fields, the source of information, where we're calculating the variance of what's expected to be there versus what we actually receive. We call that out right here. And guys, the more data you feed this thing, the better our model grows, because we're constantly calculating the delta between all the active data sources that you have in your Identify platform. So next, we're going to go click Add Data. We're going to go add a data source to our environment. And now here, we're saving you guys a ton of time. So we did all the hard work leveraging our dynamic tables in Snowflake to build you some pre-built connectors for these various data sources. So you see the ones that are currently active here. Um, we've saved you months, if not years, worth of work implementing some of these data sources. So we can go uh, to a category filter here, and let's say add a new processor. And in our list of available processors, uh, maybe we'll choose one that could be a crowd favorite here. Let's add FIS North and activate this one in our account. And notice we have a timestamp now when that, that source or that file gets mapped into our environment. For our compliance guys in the room, this is very important, keeping track of when your data lands in your environment. Now we can go back to Explore Data. And we'll go back to our, our initial landing page, our dashboard. It refreshes all the data that we've brought in here and what we've expected to map. Uh, notice that we have 398 files, 19 million rows, 316 million, 362 million fields within FIS North now. Uh, it's red, indicating we might have some issues with the data. So Spencer, let's, 
let's see what's going on in FIS North. So as we get to this page, this is now our SLA goal. So this is our 95% completion goal for that data source. We've got some fields here listed on this screen that we're mapping out of that file. And our timeline here is only showing data back to January 2024, while most of our customers are actually looking back seven years across their data. And so you might see a, a red flag, but it looks like the zip code line is dropped below our SLA at 62%. So as we hover over this, we can see within that timeline what information might be missing from that field. This is very important, guys, because as we do this analysis, we're, we're hoping to save you guys the stress by positioning this data for easy analysis so that you don't have to spend a bunch of time doing so. And I, by identifying where our information is missing, we can then start building our case around the why. But unfortunately, guys, I don't have enough time. We only have seven minutes with you today. So we've had an opportunity to walk you through the Identify platform. We've shown you how we could easily map a number of data sources into this environment. We've done about 42 to date. And we can save you a ton of effort while also reducing your risk and compliance when validating data in the cloud. Now, you're going to see an, a lot of awesome demos here yesterday, today. And we believe that to get and empower any of these applications, you need to validate your data and make sure it's clean before you move it into the next app. So thank you for your time. Thanks for coming and learning more about Identify.